that's the Asian markets which are now trading in the green. No big move in many of them. The government has accepted Kirit Parikh committee recommendations. Unless we see a big negative daily close, the trend for now remains higher. The numbers look good. The total global sales for Tata Motors in Q4 has risen 8% year on year. Hype natural gas for domestic users and compressed natural gas for transport sectors. It's a decent opening, you'd have to say. No big bang opening, just building onto its gains in a slow and steady way. Growth uh... Uh, indicators seem to be suggesting some bit of a slowdown at least. You are also seeing macro bottom out. See, Titan's business has grown by 23% on a base of 1.3%. This morning, things are on the quieter side. Uh, the Nifty is trading in a range of just about 50 to 60 points. This is going to be one of the trickiest quarters to lay out expectations, considering that we are in a heightened period of uncertainty. The markets are concerned slightly of the highs of the day, but still sitting with gains. That is, the Nifty is up 60 points right now. That was the day so far. Hello and welcome to Closing Bell from the CNBC TV 18 Motilal Oswal studio. I am Reema Tindulkar and with me I've got Nigel D'Souza who's up in the newsroom. Uh, hi Nigel, uh, afternoon, you know, the commentary till about, you know, 1.30, 2pm was that things were very, very quiet. Yes. You know, it's a buy on dips market, we're holding up, no great gains, no big gains, but at least we're managing to hold up and retain all of last week's gains. But the sudden slide that's taking place in the markets in the last one hour has come in as a bit of a surprise. The Nifty slipped close to about 100 points from the day's high. The high today was closer to 17,700 and now look at the slide that's taking place in the last one and a half hour. The Nifty is down to 17,600. So this has come in as a bit of a surprise. The banks are giving way. The Nifty Banking Index is down 260 points. Remember, the Nifty Banking Index had rallied for six straight sessions. And now some of that profit, some of those gains are being unwound and we are seeing Nifty Bank come in for some amount of selling pressure. To quickly run you through some of the big uh, you know, losers and gainers in today's trade, on the way down, you've got weakness in Bajaj Finance, Indusin Bank, SBI Life, ICICI Bank. So a lot of the financial sector names are cracking in trade. Look at Indusin Bank and you would see a sharp slide in that name. You also have State Bank of India, another one that I was talking about, and HDFC Bank and big boy Reliance Industries too has come for some heavy selling pressure in the last one hour. On the gaining side, ONGC is going strong. Tata Motors is still the top nifty gainer. You've also got strength in Wipro, Power Grid, Hindalco. These are a couple of the big movers. But sharp fall, Nigel, in the last uh, one hour. Well, that's right, uh, Reema. You know, I'm looking at the nifty bank. That's the big underperformer today. And it's down close to 250 points as we speak. It is as is low, and the last 10, 15 minutes or so, it's taken a leg down. Now, crucial that the Nifty Bank holds on to the 50 DMA, which comes in at around 40,650. So just keep an eye out on that mark. On the Nifty, what is clear on the point that we made earlier today as well, for 17,700, 17,800, that's the upper band of the range. And, you know, that is likely to be a bit of a resistance zone. We almost went uh, till there, and from there we saw a bit of a U-turn. I'm looking at the options data, 17,600 put, 17,700 call. Both of them are getting written in today's trading session. So aggressive writing is what we're seeing at either end, which brings us to the range. The near-term range on the Nifty, you wanted to hold the 50 DMA, which is at around 17,522. And on the upside, now the tighter range is, today is high, closer to around 17,700. The bears are coming to fight out there. But on the Nifty bank, I think for the last hour, the crucial number is the 50 DMA, which comes in at 40,650. You need to hold on to that on a closing basis. But otherwise, you pretty much say that the uptrend is intact as long as this uh, 17,200, 17,500 odd level on the Nifty holds out, Rima. Okay, let's tell our viewers what we have ahead in the next one hour today. Tata Motors and Maruti are in focus on the back of fresh brokerage notes, key highlights from the reports lined up. Realty stocks, Godrej Properties, Shobha Developers are surging in trade after the companies reported strong quarter four business updates. Complete details coming up. We'll also discuss market and stock specific action with Pashupati Advani of Global Foray. All this and much more.